My name is Mark Hollingsworth. I pastor Edmund First Church. Today we're talking about humor in the pulpit. Uh, to build a theology of humor, we'll talk about that and talk about timing and, and preparation. Someone has, has said that if you can get people to lighten up, it's easier for them to see the light. Throughout the scriptures, we see laughter. Very first book of the Bible in Genesis, when God reveals to Abraham and Sarah that in their advanced years, they're gonna have a baby. It says that Sarah laughed. In Ecclesiastes, it says that there is in fact a time to laugh. Jesus very effectively in the greatest sermon ever preached used humor. Now it was Hebrew humor, which was exaggeration. You know, a hundred years ago, when I, when I started out in preaching and pastoring church, uh, humor uh, was frowned upon in the pulpit. And, and then it's gone to these days where uh, everybody's a stand-up comedian and there's rim shots in the background. I, I think there's, there's balance to all of that. It, it's very important that we recognize the timing of, of humor in the pulpit, when to use it. There's, there is a time to laugh, but then there's a time to, to leave it alone. And so we've got to figure out the waves and the movements and the rhythms of, of each service to, to know effectively when to use it. And, and most of the time, it's, it's more effective to use your humor right up front to engage the congregation and the listeners. Uh, then preparation is very important. Uh, I, I call it planned spontaneity. Uh, my, my humor is really pretty predictable. I, I know in advance when I'm going to effectively interject some, some piece of humor to kind of throw the congregation off to, to re-engage them because people have such a very short attention span. So you got to be prepared and, and so take time to, to rehearse what it is to get the timing down and be effectively prepared. Rehearse on the dog, on your wife or, or your husband or, or, or the cat uh, or the grandkids. Rehearse it and, and be prepared in that way. But uh, because people have such short attention spans, humor in the pulpit can be very, very effective. It can be, it can, it can break the ice. Oftentimes we're dealing with very heavy issues and, and a little bit of humor can break the tension of the, of the moment. One thing I, I would say, and to, to be very cautious about, is never, never be harmful with your humor. If you want to make fun of yourself, you know that you've got a lot of material to work with. Uh, but, but never go after anybody, and, and we, don't, we don't need a reverent Don Rickles in the pulpit, that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, so, so be very careful how you use humor, never be harmful. Psalm 2-4 says that the one enthroned in heaven <laughs>, laughs. So God is up there in heaven laughing. Who's he laughing at? Uh, I think we all know who he's laughing at. I hope you will effectively use humor in the pulpit.